friends, today we're gonna create this beautiful scarf inspired by nature because I wanted to create a scarf that is uh, like for spring but it takes part out of the nature and inspires us all because nature is beautiful, nature is life and nature is in all of us the vibration of the leaves, the vibration and energy of the trees is in all of us and I wanted to create something that uh, goes in this direction with the spring, with the nature, with the forest so let's create this beautiful scarf together if you want to support the channel you can comment down below or uh, subscribe to the channel you don't have to, only if you want to like you really don't have to subscribe but if you want to help me you can hit that subscribe and the notification button and this is how I can grow a little more In this video I'm using this type of yarn and a 3.5mm crochet hook Let's get started So we're gonna start the chain 22 I have 22 chains now and here I will chain 4 These 4 chains counts as a triple crochet Keep in mind I'm using US terms So this is for US terms is a triple crochet That means I'll take yarn 2 times over my hook when I create a triple crochet Alright? So now I created 4 extra chains I'll skip these 4 chains that I just created And in the 5th one I'll create the triple crochet that I was saying So for triple crochet I take yarn once and again And I go in the 5th from my hook The 5th chain And I create the triple crochet with taking the yarn Pull it once Take the yarn, pull it twice And take the yarn and pull it through both of them And this is a triple crochet In US terms Alright? So, I, I have two now The chain 4 from the beginning that counts as a triple crochet And the triple crochet that I just made, I have two I need four more, six in total So, I will create another one in the next chain I have three Four Five and six so I have here six triple crochet now this is uh, uh, the more advanced part but if you get this part that's it this is uh, gonna be very easy so here I will chain one this is the chain that I'm gonna work the next leaf in alright that this chain one and I'm, I'm gonna chain 4 extra so basically I have 5 chains one that I'm gonna work in and this 4 they're gonna count as a triple crochet the same as in the beginning so I will take yarn 2 times over my hook I will go into this chain 1 that I made the first chain from this section I have 4 loops over my hook I take the yarn and pull it through 2 take the yarn, pull it through 2 and that's it no more, ok? now again, 2 times yarn over my hook I go in that chain 1 and I take a loop I have 5 loops over my hook I take the yarn and I pull it through 2 I take the yarn and I pull it through two. That's it. I have three three loops. I leave them here. And one more time, I take two loops. I go into that chain. And I take the yarn and I pull it through two. I take the yarn. I pull it through two. And now I have four loops over my hook. And I take the yarn and I pull it through all of them, like this. 
and I created my first leaf. Okay, so now I'm gonna skip four chains here at the bottom. So I have one, two, three, and four. And in the next one, I'm gonna create a triple crochet. It's a bit difficult in the beginning, but you're gonna get used to this. So now we, I'm gonna create another leaf the same way I created this one. So I have a, a chain one, the one that I'm gonna work in. I make four more, four more chains. So I have one at the bottom and four more. That they're gonna come, there's a triple crochet. And now I'm gonna make three triple crochet joined together at the top like I did here. So I take two times yarn over my hook, I go in that chain one, so I don't go here, I go in the chain one. And then I take the, the yarn and pull it through two loops, take the yarn, pull it through two loops, I have two more here, I leave them here. Again I take two loops over my hook, I go in that chain, I take the yarn out, and I pull it through two, pull through two. I have three loops left. Again, two times yarn over the hook. Take the yarn, pull it through two, pull it through two. I have four loops and I take the yarn and I pull it through all of them like this. And now I will uh, skip four chains at the bottom. I have one, two, three, four. In the fifth one, I'm gonna create a triple crochet. And now I will create triple crochet until the end of the row. We should have six in total. I finished the six uh, triple crochet. So I have six in the beginning. Counting the chain four, I have six. Then I made a leaf, then the middle part, another leaf and six triple crochet. Now I'm gonna repeat exactly the same as I did here. So I'm gonna start with a chain four, that is gonna count as a triple crochet. Then I will create five more, so one the chain four and five more, leaf, middle part, leaf, six triple crochet. And then we continue the same way. So I'm gonna show you one more time because this is one row repeating pattern, all right? And then we can create a border around it, but that is absolutely optional. I mean, I'm gonna create this one now, another row together with you, and then I'm gonna show you how it looks at the end. And then uh, also I will show you how you can create a border if you want to create a border. The border is absolutely optional. You can become as creative as you want with this pattern, this beautiful forest inspired pattern. So I will chain four. This counts as a hard double, uh, as, as a triple crochet. All right, <laughs> so. I'll create five more triple crochet. So I have six in total. Now I will chain one. This is the one that I'm gonna create the leaf inside. Then I will create four more chains. Now I, I will make the three triple crochet together. Worked in the first chain from here, from the bottom. So I have the first one, I don't finish it off. I make the second one, the same way as I showed you earlier. I have three loops, I leave them here. And the third one. I have four loops, now I take and I pull through all of them. And now I will create a triple crochet. 
exactly where I have this one in the middle. Like this. Now again, I will chain one that I'm gonna work in and four more. Then I will create three tri triple crochet joined together at the top. So I created one. Two. I was about to join them, you saw? That would be a mistake. So I have three loops over my hook. Now I take two more to make the last one. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through all of them. Beautiful. Now I'll skip all this leaf and I'll go at the top of the first triple crochet that I have here. And I'll work six triple crochet in total. I have one. This is how it looks, the two repeating rows that I just made. And we continue exactly the same way. And we can make it from here as long as you we, we want. There is no limit. You can make it five meters if you want. I don't know why would you make a, a scarf that long, but there is no limit. And this is gonna be an absolutely beautiful scarf to use by you. And it's very inspired by nature. For nature lovers, I, I love the forest. I love everything related to the nature. That's why you see on my channel a lot of patterns related to nature, to flowers, to leaves, to everything is inspired by nature. My life is inspired by nature. So here it is. And now I will, I will uh, continue working on this one and I'm gonna show you how it looks at, at the end. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this pattern, uh, I'll bring more patterns that they are inspired by nature, by flowers, by animals from the forest, by the forest itself, with all its beautiful energy and flow, and I'll bring this to you in this uh, passion that we share together. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos and you want to support my channel, please comment down below or uh, subscribe to the channel. You don't have to, only if you want to. Like, you really don't have to subscribe, but if you want to help me, you can hit that subscribe and the notification button and this is how I can grow a little more. So, see you in the next video.